Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Andy Robinson RT. Cheers for joining us today on the channel. And today we have got the second part of our Panda Pandemonium uh, two-wheel drive buggy from Vericom. Now, if you caught our last video, if you haven't, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, we showed you this running outside and it had an absolutely dreadfully slow <laughs> steering servo and it was running on uh, the original mechanical speed control. So what we've done since then is we've replaced that with a Hobbywing 1060 quick run ESC, which is a great little unit that runs down to, I think, uh, 12 turn motor limits. It might be less than that, can't remember now. Uh, we've fully ball raced it as well, so everything's ball raced. We've got rid of all the old plastic and brass bushings out of it. And I've put a uh, radiant servo in, which is ball raced, metal gears, and uh, it's definitely a lot quicker than the previous servo we had in it. So we've just updated the electronics really. The only other details I've done, I've painted the, uh, the roll cage in black and added a spare Tamiya driver figure in there. I've removed the hubcap dust covers off there because I just thought it looked more um, hobby-like with the exposed wheel nuts. And also on this, I've taken the plastic cover off the motor as well. So it uh, looks more like the Tamiya cars with the exposed motor cam. So other than that, it's still, um, as we, uh, as you saw it, we've just updated the electronics. Now, I did say we'd pitch this, because I reckon this handles better with the uh, double front, uh, you know, suspension at the front, uh, than the Grasshopper 2. And so I've brought the Grasshopper 2 with this as well. Um, now, the only thing I've done with this since you last saw it was, you know, you can get these off eBay, but there's a guy called Humble Vintage RC. I put a link to his products and his channel. You can buy, now you can just see it there. It's a 3D printed transmission brace and it stops the rear transmission slapping up and down under acceleration. So I thought we'd give one of these a go. I've put that in, you don't need to do any drilling. You just take out the axle, slide it in there and you put the axle back in. And uh, that stops the, uh, the pogo in as much with the uh, under acceleration. So I thought we'd see what it's like with that as well. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we'll do a um, time lapse again and hopefully I'll get this plumbing right because <laughs> I always seem to make a mess of it. But we'll do a uh, four laps around the track that we've set up with some cones and we're gonna see who or which is quickest, the Tamiya Grass off the two or the Viacom Panda Pandemonium. Now, get set up. Also, both of them are running exactly the same batteries, which is just 3,300 milliamp NIM style battery packs. Wanted to run them on the same battery. Right, okay. So, uh, let's uh, get these laps time then. Okay, you ready? Okay, I've got my lovely wife on film duties again today. So I owe her big time now because it's the third video she's done for me today. Yeah. Anyway, be good? Right, okay. So you've got two jobs, you've got to film and do the timer. So, uh, yeah. Okay, right, okay, so we're going to start. So in three, two, one, we're going to do four laps with this see what the overall time is so marks get set and go so not an overly complicated course uh, I've got my lines all on there but hey it runs the uh, bunch quite nicely not hopping around as much, I don't think. That double front wrist bone suspension helping a lot there at the front. And also that improved servo. Okay, so we are going to be approaching the third lap soon. I 
think it'll be quite close actually. I did, uh, I forgot though, this is actually, I know we, um, we need a 540 pan in this, the Grasshopper has got a torque tune motor. Okay, so this is the last lap now. And there we go, over the line. All right, so let's have a look at the time. It did it in one minute and 21 seconds. Let's see if that's going to be quick enough to beat the grass off the tube, or I'm going to have egg, egg on my face, and I've got it completely wrong. <laughs> right, I just need to swap crystals over. Because we're running a different car. Okay, don't want to lose anything. Mm. Okay, and change the model. All right, okay. And now it's the turn of the grasshopper too. Right, okay. So again, we'll go in three and we'll do the four laps. Please let me know if I miscount a lap. <laughs> right, okay, so in three, two, one. So you can see this going round and it is more bouncy than the um, Panda Pandemonium. But it might have the edge and speed because it does have the sort of tune mode. Ooh. It does have the torque tree motion, but it bounces so much more. I mean, even with that transmission brace, which does help it, it still bounces a lot. So we're on to the second lap now. To me trying to concentrate here. I can't get that corner at the same speed as I can with the other car. Okay, so we're now on to our third lap. Yeah, I don't. Maybe we are going to be quicker still, even with that rollover. Okay, and this should be our fourth and final lap now. And across the line. How did we do? It's slower. It's slower, 136 compared to, I think, is it 121? Well, there you go. Even with the Grasshopper's Fortune motor in, that was definitely a bit slower, but it's so much better over the bumpy ground, even with that transmission brace, which stops the axle slap. The Panda, Pandemonium, and the Grasshopper licks then. It was quite a bit quicker as well. So that was quite cool to do. I'm glad we did that. I love this buggy. Next up for this is I'm going to take this to my local club tomorrow night. I'm going to run it in the hopper class and see what it's like. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. That's the Panda Pandem Pandemonium, all done with the uh, updated electronics. I think it's quite cool that. i tell you what I think might have helped is although that's got the oil dampers on, this does feel a lot softer as well on the suspension. So maybe that was helping so those bumps a bit better. Anyway. Cheers for joining us. Cheers for checking out this video. Much appreciated. If you want to see more content from us, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. To everyone who has, thank you for all your support. And also click on our notification and like buttons. I'll see you soon. Look after yourselves and take care. Bye.